Hang on there, kiddo. All right, test one, two. Um, this, I know that, so, uh, okay. Uh, hey, how's it going? Let's start over. Um, I did not plug in the microphone last week because I thought it was fine. You know, we've skipped it, put it away before, and um, turns out it wasn't this time because I did it differently. It's all on me, and so we might not have enough battery here to get through on the mic. I think you can probably hear me right now. Um, I'm just going to take care of this blanket while we're talking. Uh, and hopefully this will last long enough to do the whole show. We'll just have to see what we get. So, uh, news this week, I guess, is basically uh, we've got two things that are news. One is that a uh, little crank here is pooping. I think you all know that, though, if you've been watching it all. That's what I'm cleaning up right now. Uh, she is pooping a little bit more easily, I think, than we want, but that's all stuff that we anticipated needing to fine tune. Um, I think that, you know, we know that it was going to be this way for at least a week or two, maybe longer, before we get things adjusted for her. Uh, so that's where we are. Hang on now. Um, I've been leaving her in with her mom because her mom definitely cleans up after her really well, um, but. There's only so much a mom can do. Plus, uh, you know, I don't want to make her do that. I know she doesn't mind. She's sort of built that way. Um, but, uh, but I mind on her behalf. Plus, we've got to find a, a solution before she goes, which is the other bit of news. Gadget here has an official adopter. And uh, they will be picking her up, as far as I'm aware, on the 3rd. So that's how long we have with Gadget. That's why I decided to do mailbag with her again, even though I know we'd all like to see the kittens downstairs for a while. I thought, you know, I'm not gonna have too much more opportunity with Gadget here, so may as well take it while we got it. She is a lot of fun, and I know her adopters are gonna have a real good time with her. There we go. Okay, and a fresh blanket just so nothing gets mixed up. I know it doesn't match the theme of the rainbow room, but it's waterproof and it almost covers this whole futon, so that's what we get. There we go. So yeah, that's about it for news though, uh, is that little Cranky's doing much better and uh, her mom is gonna be going uh, soon, too soon. And that's it. Uh, what else can I tell you? I can't really think of anything else that bears mentioning. Um, I feel like there was more I wanted to say about how Crank's doing, but I really, that, that covered it. So what else are you going to say? She gets a little ride around in her pod with me every morning as we're starting to get stuff ready. And uh, she's so fine with it. The only time that she ever struggles to get out is when she smells food. Uh, or when she has to use the litter box. Okay, let me check, make sure I'm kind of audible. Okay. Good, okay, I think I am audible. And yeah, hopefully we can get through this before the microphone dies. Uh, I have no idea. Mike is crackly. Well, I already turned it down. Um, let me just take a look. Do, 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 do. That's the wrong one. Test, test. This is testing the sound level. Can I hear myself? Uh, it's not getting too so high that it should be blowing anything out. But I guess that's all I can really tell is the meter. So I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> let's see. A little better since you stopped moving around. Okay, hopefully that was it then. We'll see. If it's not that much better, we can just switch to the room mic early. Um, we'll see. But uh, just in case it was too staticky for anybody to pick up, the only news this week is that uh, Little Crank here is doing better. Um, we've still got some work to do. She's extra, extra poopy now and is getting poop everywhere, and it's really kind of a pain. 
But uh, that was expected and it should settle down and we should get all of her things working in order in, in due time. Just going to take a little while to sort stuff out. And uh, her mom, Gadget, has an official adopter and I think is planning right now to go home on the 3rd. So that's all the news. And uh, I don't know how to make the decision whether we should switch to the room mic. So uh, um, I'm going to have to leave that up to the admins, actually, because I also won't know if and when this mic just stops working all of a sudden. So it is what it is. I'll try to speak a little bit loudly in case we're switched over. Hi, Gadgie. Gadgy is so sweet and fun. I know, I'm going to miss you. And she's been a great mom. She still cleans up as many of the messes as she possibly can. I think that right now the level of mess is exceeding her capabilities, but you know, there's only so much a little mom cat can do. All right, uh, let's see, let's just jump right in. We've got one letter somewhere in this pile. Let's see if I can't find it. This one's only still in her little carrier because um, she's drying off and she's wrapped up in a towel and I thought maybe she could dry off for a little bit before she hops out, but at some point she's gonna get fed up and decide to go. And that's fine. This is from Fancy Pants McDoodle. All right, let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. It is a paper uh, butterfly, I guess, with little honeycomb around it for some reason. Uh, it looks, I don't know, it's, it's sort of a, it's shiny and it's got some cool patterns on it. It almost looks like it's a drawing that looks like it's made out of pieces of paper and wire and stuff, which is cool. It's got some little diamonds on it. Awesome. Very awesome. And it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, my dear Cleo has demanded I send you the enclosed. She feels that with your experience, you're the only food deliverer that can resolve this dispute. Thank you for all that you do for moms, not moms, kittens, faculty, discorders, and everyone else you touch the hearts of every day from Fancy Pants McDoodle. Well, that's an interesting lead in to whatever this note happens to be. It says, Dear Mr. A, I am writing to you to resolve a conflict I am having with my thumbed two-legged food de deliverer. She thinks you are cooler than stinky fish, naps in sunbeams, and noodle sticks combined. I think if you're that amazing, you will have no problem finding in my favor. Wow, I'm a judge now. I like this. Uh, pants, my two-legger says if you can... If, uh, pants, my two-legger says if you call her that, some British people may giggle. What is British? Recently decided to rip me out of my very nice house that I got smelling like me so good and bring me to a new house I'm currently stanking up very good. But this house is missing one important thing, a leaky faucet. See... At the last place, the bathroom faucet dripped all the time, and as the discerning gentleman that you are, I'm sure you know that leaky tap water is the second best water there is. The first, of course, being puddle water, but Pants says it is impossible to bring a puddle inside and that it is asinine for me to expect that. I don't know why she needs to swear about it. So in place of a puddle, I expect leaky tap water, but Pants says no. She says she will not break the faucet to make it leaky, even if I sit at the bathroom door and yell. Even if I sit on the closed toilet, why do they call it a toilet? It's not very fun. And not move until she, hi, you are demanding, until she picks me up and unceremoniously puts me on the floor. She says there is a bowl right there and it is the same darn water from the same darn tap. She says as soon as she can find it, she will set up the fountain, but I don't like the fountain, so I'm stuck drinking out of a bowl like some common heathen cat. Don't worry, I'm getting my revenge though. You're already poopy again. It's a good thing I've got a pile of wipes right here. That's why they're right here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hang on, poopy butt. Okay. All right, let's just try to stay ahead of this a little bit for you and your mom. I know, I know. Okay. Oof, that's a very smelly poop. How much did you leave in here? Any? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Just a tiny bit. That's not enough to worry about. I know, Ma. I did some too, okay? You can do the rest. It's up to you. Okay, uh, where were we? We were saying, uh, I don't like the fountain. Okay, don't worry, I'm getting my revenge though. Pants is good at cuddling in bed, so as soon as she falls asleep, I put my, oh, asterisk as close to her mouth as I can. It makes me feel better. I also try to get my whiskers in her nostril, and my aim is getting pretty good. And when all else fails, I sing about the songs of the old gods and hymns about puddle water. 
Pants has agreed to abide by your ruling, so should I get one puddle water indoors, of course, two leaky faucet water, three icky fountain water, or four gross bowl water? I would also like to say a few words to the faculty, if I may. Custard, Maggie, Eddie, Ari, Logan, and Teaspoon. Meow, 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 merp, meow, meow. Merp, burp, burp, meow. Translation, Custard, may I someday be as big as you. Maggie, may I someday have your sass. Eddie, I want to be as cool as you. Ari, what do the ghosts say? Logan, don't pee there. Teaspoon, I wish you happy poops. Thank you for everything you do for my brothers from another mother and my sisters from another mister. And remember, uh, and remember down with the gross bowl water from Cleo McDoodle. That is a very fun letter. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed that. And um, I know I did. So uh, as far as a ruling goes, I'm not going to make a final ruling on this, but let me instead make a suggestion. Um, in last week's mailbag, we got a little fountain that attaches to a faucet might be the kind of thing that you guys should look into. Uh, I don't know for sure because I haven't hooked ours up yet to try it out, but it seems like something that might just solve this dispute for both people, like King Solomon. We'll just uh, split the tap in half. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so there you go. That's my suggestion. Uh, that is such a fun letter though. I think DJ is gonna have to read it. Okay. That's our letter for this week, so we get to move on from there. I wonder if I should put a little blanket in my lap. I don't know. I'm so used to changing my clothes at this point, frequently, because of this little tiny. Here, you sit in the towel. It's a little wet, I know. It's just a little damp, but so are you. She's like, no, I don't want this. I wanted your lap. I wanted to poop in your lap. I know you did. I know you did. All right, well, where do we start? Let's see here. I guess the first place I'm going to start is I'm going to look again at the Discord chat and make sure that everything is going more or less okay. All right. Looks like it's more or less okay anyway. People are responding to things I said, so I must be somewhat audible one way or the other. And let's start opening some boxes then. Where is my box opening device? Here we go. Okay, we'll start right here. This is, I don't know, I've covered up the address, so I have no idea what it's from. Kitten Academy, hey, that's us. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Speedy Cat is our family mascot and was originally created by our youngest when she was 11. This sticker is our good luck Speedy Cat. Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, it's, <laughs> that's, I see that is Speedy Cat. And Speedy Cat apparently uh, has taken on quite a few roles here. Take a look at that. Dear Kitten Academy, our whole family, four humans, three cats, enjoy streaming your channel on weekends. We especially enjoy Mailbag and wanted to send a few things. Included are four gift cards to be distributed as endowments as needed. The socks are from Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We hope you find them as comfy and fun as we do. They are from a local business, from the Winning Wilmarths. That's great, the Winning Wilmarths. You guys are winning, and uh, I love your little Beatles, um, like uh, Abbey Road cover with the, the cat on it. Um, Speedy Cat, and then also the Speedy Cat here actually running with a four-leaf clover. That is pretty clever, actually. That's good design work. And, uh, you know, I've been talking about my sticker collection for a long time and all the things that I plan to do with it. But uh, the fact is, I, I finally, um, for the, I, I mentioned that I'm taking a trip to go see my mom on the 16th. I'm very much looking forward to it. And uh, I bought a, a, like one of those boxes that are the, like the hard box with the, filled with foam so you can cut it out and put all your cameras and stuff in it in a nice way and protect them. Um, I didn't buy it for cameras though, I bought it to put all of my like gaming and electronics and stuff into. Um, and I bought it exactly the size, yeah, you're having fun, you're helping dig through this stuff. Anyway, I bought the box exactly the size, the biggest size that, according to the airline, they will allow to be your second carry-on item that goes under the seat. Um, so that my plan is really probably to just do that plus a carry-on and not even bring any real luggage. Um, 
for my trip. Uh, my point was that now uh, that box, I want to decorate the whole thing with my sticker collection before I go, uh, since it's finally a chance to not only decorate something cool that would, you know, people would decorate with stickers, but then to uh, show it off, you know, on my trip, uh, going through the airport with all that. So I think this will be on there. That'll be fun. And, okay, you were saying, please use these gift cards as you see fit. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I am going to put those right in here with the other stuff. And then uh, we have delectable squeeze up. Ooh, tuna and shrimp. All right, that's some good stuff. That's kind of like the churu. Um, that is, that everybody likes that stuff. That's great. And then we have a local business here called My Soxy Feet. Oh, that's clever. My Soxy Feet. And it is catitude. And it is, in fact, uh, like a sort of a neon colored sock with a cat wearing sunglasses on it. I don't know if you can make out the cat there. There's half of them at the top. That is fun. Okay. All right. Uh, I ordered groceries to be de delivered. Oh, there's another thing in here. Look at that. Is this what you were smelling? Hmm. It's a bottle of something that has a coconut on it. What is this? We stopped by a local business to say hi to their shop cats and see if they had anything we could add to our goodie box. After hearing about Kitten Academy, the owner gave us this cat shampoo to send to you. This is from Clipper Ship Pet Grooming in Lake Mary, Florida. Clipper Ship Pet Grooming. Wow. Uh, so waterless cat shampoo. Oh, you know, the vet uses a waterless, um, you know, cat uh, shampoo when, when the cats get messy when they're at the vet. It's probably like this. I've never actually used one. Dander reducing, no rinse formula, deodorizing. How about that? I think you just sort of spray it on and then uh, gently massage. Wow. Brushing may provide additional benefit. Yes, indeed it does. And it's got a coconut on there, so let's just see. Oh, it's got the kind of dispenser on the top that looks like it would foam. I know a cat that could use a bath. I can't smell anything here. Well. We'll see. If she, if she wants me to clean her up again during this mailbag, maybe I'll try some of that on it. Otherwise, I know we'll get a chance to try some on, it, on her at some point. Probably as soon as I show that to DJ, she's going to want to check it out. And we have a perfect victim right here. And this little girl who needs, she gets so many baths every day. You would not believe it. That's the very first thing I do when I get up. Um, I've had to start keeping her sort of in her, uh, in her crate at night. Uh, it's big, you know, it's got room for a litter box and her food and her water and a nice bed that she can get into. Um, but I had to do that because um, DJ let her out the morning before last, just it, not even all night long, just as she was going to work, she let this little one out. And by the time I woke up like an hour later, the bedroom was covered in poop. I mean, it was everywhere. It was on the comforter. It was on the waterproof blanket we put on top of the comforter to protect it. Somehow she managed to get it onto DJ's pillow, even though that was like protected underneath those things. Uh, there was some on the, on the rug and it was uh, on the little steps that we have to get onto the bed. Just, every, just everywhere was just had poop on it. And so yesterday I did a whole cleaning with the rug shampooer and everything. Um, but my point being, I get up in the morning, that's my routine now with her, and the very first thing we do is give her a little bath in the sink, and then I put her in the pod and carry her around while I do my whole morning routine, and she sits there very pretty until um, I start getting the food. It's gotten pretty easy at this point. I just start to sink and sort of hold her butt under it and go like this, and the sink just washes everything off, and that's all there is to it. So it's not a big, complicated thing. Uh, but, uh, wow, it is a lot of little baths. So, uh, yeah. Where was I? Thank you guys so much for sending that stuff. That's really fun. I'm excited about the socks. I'm excited about the sticker, especially, and I think this is going to be fun to try out. We'll see how it works for us. So thank you very, very much. Okay, uh, this, I uh, covered up the address, but it's got little tiny paws drawn on the front of it, so let's see what this is about. Oh, Ooh, ye olde knife guard. Wow, look at that. This is a saber guard. Uh, that's cool. Okay, I need a bigger knife. And I see we've got a cool little bag in here, but first there's a note addressed to Mr. A and DJ. It says, 
It's a Halloween card. It's two zombies, and one of the zombies is chewing on a uh, scarecrow. And it says, what are you eating? And then the other zombie says, a plant-based human. It's just like the real thing. That's cute. They're vegetarian zombies eating a scarecrow. That <laughs> makes too much sense, actually. That's pretty funny. I like it. Oh, more stickers. Oh, wow. This one, it's not rocket science. It's coffee science with a little Einstein head made out of coffee beans and the molecule diagram for caffeine and a rocket. All in one sticker. Look at that. Uh, perfect. And this one's even cooler. It says Black Cat Coffee, and it's a black cat wearing a space helmet, an astronaut's uh, helmet, I guess. That is also very cool. Wow, I can't wait to put these stickers on. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do today. Okay, hope your Halloween's a real treat, it says. Yes, indeed. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and Discorders. No tricks, just treats for the humans at Kitten Academy. Enclosed is some coffee from an amazing local coffee shop here on the space coast of sunny Florida. Except when we're having yet another hurricane, of course, LOL. Thank you so much for everything you do. Lots of love and from for Mammy. Uh, that's Butter and Django's mom on Discord. Butters and Django's mom on Discord. It's Django, of course, with a D. Uh, we all learned that from Quentin Tarantino. I did, anyway. All right, uh, P.S., please give Little Frankenstein a boop for me. Oh, well, Little Frankenstein is settling down in that box over there. Um, but maybe I should move the box to where it's a little more visible because she is too cute. Come here. Let's just slide this around. You can stay in there. It's a, like a micro tissue pit just for you, and maybe you can put all the poop you want in here. It's disposable. So that's a nice thing, isn't it? Okay. You kind of look like you're trying to put a poop right now. Go for it, I say. That's the right place. That's the best place. Can't do better than that. Okay, so where were we? Uh, Butters and Django's mom has said black cat coffee. Wow, rocket fuel. Notes of cocoa, dark chocolate, and walnut. That sounds like my kind of thing. Smooth flavor with no bitterness. Awesome. I always uh, prefer a coffee that just has like real low acidity. That's why I go for the, the Sumatra from Starbucks as my sort of default. Uh, black cat rocket fuel coffee. Wow. I was just noticing this morning that I'm out of my regular coffee. Oh, that smells good. Wow. Roasted in Titusville, Florida. I love their little logo. That's so cute. And I've got their sticker now, too. Thank you very much. I was just going to say this morning, I'm, it turns out I'm out of my regular coffee. I have to order some more. So um, I didn't realize I was completely out. But for the last, I don't know, week or two, I've been using the 100% Coda coffee that people have sent. There were two of them. And uh, it is really good stuff. It's, uh, I really enjoy it, so it's been great. Note to self, though, i got to order more of my Starbucks, too, just so I've always got some of them standby. I've been drinking all the tea that people have sent, too. I think I mentioned that before. I've been cutting back on the Diet Coke. Uh, not 100% out, but mostly. It, it, in the evenings, I just drink tea. And uh, um, I think I mentioned last week that somebody had sent in... Um, the vanilla chai from Bigelow, which is probably my overall favorite so far. Might be. There's a few others that I like. And uh, I've been enjoying some, uh, some Earl Grey, just, you know, your basic, uh, you know, black tea. Um, and I also always enjoy uh, oolong, like a, like a woody, you know, uh, oolong. And um, that's always been fun for me. And so I was looking to order some more vanilla chai because I was out. And I started looking around on Amazon and I found... Uh, it's called London Fog, which is like a, an Earl Grey and Oolong together. And I thought, well, I like those both. Uh, why wouldn't I like that? And so I ordered some, and then I was looking through all the teas that people have sent, and I found there was a big tin of it already in what people had sent. So I started drinking that too. And I do like it. It's not like it's not as strong as uh, like an Oolong would be. It just it's got a, like a real smoothness to it. Like, uh, London Fog is a great name for it, and uh, I enjoy it. It's, I've been having fun with that, too. So, it's all good. Where was I? I started talking, and I got myself all distracted. Um, let's see here. Hang on. Rolling it back just a little bit. Okay, well, this is a Legend Dog Catnip Toy. Am I... Watch keeps beeping because I, like I said, uh, or I think I mentioned earlier, I ordered groceries that are being delivered, and I, it's beeping at me, and I just, I'm just checking. It looks like 
it's you know, they're just telling me more and more, like they message you so many times to be like, oh, your groceries are gonna come at this time. Oh, your groceries are coming soon. Oh, you better get ready, they're almost there. Like, okay, just, just deliver it and then text me and be like, we dropped it off. That's all I need. <sighs> anyway. Oh, okay, cute. These are, these are five um, little tiny catnip cats. I think we've seen a set like this before. It's a good one. Um, and let's see, is there a note in here? Did I, did I get confused in my little ramble and lose track of what I was doing? Because I don't know if there was a note that said what these were for. Hi, what are you doing? Speaking of... Cat odor eliminator, air plus fabric. Wow, it's perfectly bamboo scent. I don't know what perfectly bamboo scent would be, but this is Pet Paris, and I think we're familiar. These it must be the same people because it's the same design and everything. It's uh, the Poo Paris, which is for using uh, for human toilets. Uh, so this says um, to use it in the air and the fabric. We love your furry friend. Hi, what are you trying to play with? She is going to get in there. Oh, she wants the spitch, huh? Okay, well, if you get it out, there you go. It's all yours now. Um, funk lock technology. Whoa, all right, very cool. Sprinkly spritz into the air. Well, I can imagine this was sent to us uh, for the purposes of kind of keeping the stink down. Oh, there's the note. It's at the bottom. Or maybe that was the top when I opened it upside down. Uh, I imagine this was sent to us for pranks, and it is a little poopy in here, so I might try that out right this minute. Here we have the Meowna Lisa, and it is a cat that looks like the Mona Lisa more or less. And it says, uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ and all the kitties at the Academy, my mom, sisters, and I continue to get so much joy from seeing the caring work you do and allowing us all of you into your lives. We root on the kittens and cats with special thoughts for Crank these days. When a mom cat is giving birth, it's like watching a sports event. We yell and scream and have so much fun. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, from Christina, who's, uh, I think it's Jilly Girl, uh, G-I-L-I -I Girl, though, it could be Gilly Girl, on Discord. P.S. Use all the things as you wish. P.S.S. Mona Lisa reminds me of Crank. Well, it does kind of look like Crank. Not that. Um, thank you very much. So, like you were saying, uh, first off, as you see fit, well, somebody's already picked one of these fish out to be hers, so she can just hang on to that. You don't have to get the rest out. You've got, you've just got a brand new toy. You don't have to get them all. Here, get it. Oh. Okay. Leave the fish. Uh, this is the, oh, this is the thing that is her favorite uh, cat kicker right here in the bedroom, or it was anyway, for a while. Yes, I haven't seen her play with it too recently, but maybe she just needs a new one. Okay, you just, uh, you kids just sit down in all the boxes now. And then finally, I, okay, no, no, don't, I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy, though. I'm not. Uh, finally, we have a big old churu. Wow, that's heavy. 20 churu seafood mixed variety. That's perfect. I'll put that over here with the other treats. And since this is for use as I see fit, we're going to see fit to try some right now. Man, my watch is buzzing off of the wall. I don't know why it's a wall. Um, it, it does appear to be all just notes about them leaving my order. Wow, so many. So many. All right. Let's try this real quick. Perfectly bamboo. Wow, is that what bamboo smells like? That's very pleasant. I like that quite a bit, actually. Wow. I bet DJ's going to really like that, too. I can't wait. That's fun. Okay. Bamboo and coconut. Oh, man. It's going to smell so good around here. We'll see how much poop you can make. See, see which one of us comes out ahead on this. All right. Thank you very much, Jilly Girl. That's what I'm going with. All right. To open, lift tab, and pull quickly. Oh, I like the quickly one. Oh, come on. That was quick. Maybe not quick enough. All right. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see here. Some sort of a custom crochet thing. No sads in this note. Ooh, I like that. That's good. Hello, everyone, and greetings from what's left of Asheville. Oh, I see. That's why you say no sads. Yeah. Uh, one of my friends in Florida messaged me, and he's like, we just got our power back on. It's been days. And I'm like, oh, I guess I don't text you often enough. <laughs> uh, wow, that's really nice. That's so soft, too. Let's see what this is about. It says... Uh, it's been a minute since you've heard from me, but I had an unexpected visitor named Helene blow through town and forced me to take a staycation. 
I did the usual thing that one does on a staycation. I assume that's like strap yourself to a tree, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Um, I cleaned out the fridge and pantry, did a lot of DIY projects on the house, tons of yard work, and read 17 books by candlelight. My kitties helped me stay calm and focused, and I decided it was the perfect time to knit a new blanket for Crank. Oh, this is a great, yes, I love this teal color for her, and it's so soft I want to curl up in it myself. I'm glad her surgery went well, and I hope she continues to improve. I'll be serious for a brief moment and say thank you to everyone on Discord who checked on me and sent healing vibes my way. I can't say enough how grateful I am to be part of such a caring community, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone next year at KA Con. Please boop the nearest kitten for me. Boop. Uh, and thank you for taking such good care of them. Pet Kittens and Ramble On from April in Asheville, of course, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat, loves G, Joey, and Mio. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Um, that is, uh, there's a lot to go through, and I, I, I understand that. I mean, uh, when we, the, I think it was the first year we lived here, the power was out for, um, like, over a week for no reason. Uh, no real reason, anyway. And so, um, I, that was so awful for me. I can't even imagine going through how much worse it is what you guys are going through. Like, that's just, um, I, I just remember how bad I thought, felt for all of that and how annoying it was and how um, uh, I went and bought a generator and then went and bought a used uh, portable air conditioner because I just, I'm a wimp and I couldn't take it. And so... Uh, those things saw me through, but I was really lucky to be able to do that. And then, like I said, it was only, if I remember right, it was just, you know, about a week uh, without power. And that's nothing compared to what's going on down there. So um, I just I just have to sort of extrapolate from my own experience and know that that's got to be a lot uh, to go through. But you sound like you're staying really positive about it. And that's good. That's very good. That's all you can do, right? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to add this to this trash, and it's fine. Put it right in there. Okay. I'm going to have to add this little rocket fuel in there, too. I mean, not the fuel, but the baggage. All right. Uh, so, thank you so much, April. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm, that's a very thick card. What else is in here? Ooh. Oh, that's an eyeball. I mean, it's literally an eyeball ball. It's even got the optic nerve hanging off the back. Wow, that's creepy. I love it. And a little Day of the Dead sticker to seal it? What is this all about? Hopefully this sealed envelope will tell us. All right, do I pull quickly? It doesn't say quickly. All right, I went slow. It worked for me. Okay, let's see here. There's an envelope in the envelope. And a little tiny, this looks like a knit uh, flower with catnip all over it. That's so cute. I said knit. It's probably crocheted there. That looks crocheted. Oh, and more stickers. Well, as you see fit from Mishi, 60. Oh, thank you so much. And look at these little tiny stickers. Wow. This is a lot of stickers today. So from Mishi, thank you so much. And oh, a lot more stickers. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. Those little were little cat paws. And um, oh, cola marmalade. Huh. How about that? And here's another little cat paw. And, I, oh, I thought I saw something shiny. It's a shiny cat paw. And a little heart made out of cat paw prints. That's a lot of cat paw prints. Uh, what's this last one is? Also colon marmalade. It says colon marmalade. How about that? And this says it is uh, something. What am I looking at? This. Hang on. And the eyeball. Okay, uh, this and the eyeball are made by Accessorati at, uh, oh, that's ColeMarmalade.com. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, I guess I didn't realize that she had that store, but I guess it makes sense, too. Crafty Cat Mom to Celebrity Cats, Cole Marm, Bond, Jug, and Zigzag. How cool. I, I, I don't know when she started that, but I feel bad about it now. So that's Jessica, Jesse, Jesse, Jessica, uh, Accessorati on Etsy and on Gmail and also ColeMarmalade.com. Fantastic. Uh, so that's from Mishi, though. And Mishi, thank you so much for ordering from them. That's so much fun. Um, that's, uh, that's really cool. Okay, put those with the stickers. 
This little flower is so cute. I bet DJ's gonna like that. She's DJ um, likes it when the kittens have different colored, like their paw, like um, like little uh, uh, steps in it. He's got the little, just the white glove, you know. And then when he spreads his fingers, DJ calls it flower paws because it's just like a separate little flower. Um, and this reminds me of the flower paws. I think she might she might like that. I'm gonna make sure I show it to her. And then this eyeball is just cool, creepy cool. I love it. Uh, we're going to have to put that right out for Halloween, but I can't decide. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put it in here. She's got enough toys. I'm going to put it someplace else where I can see it a little more often. So we will figure that out. I'll put it over here for now in the pile of stuff that I'm accumulating to distribute. And we will move to this. Okay, nothing distinctive on the outside. Maybe there will be a note. Aha. Enjoy your gift. Well, that's, hey, hi, okay, you want to put your head into everything, don't you? That's it, that's all we get. Okay, this is from a Heather, that's all I can say. Uh, thank you, Heather. Oh, there it is, oh no, now I probably just used the wrong name. Frozen Thunder Crew, okay. Well, there we go. For little Crank, while she recovers from surgery, get well soon, little girl. Thank you for taking such good care of her, Mr. A and Dr. DJ from Frozen Tundra Crew. All right, what have we got, though? What have you sent? Let's see. P-J-Y-U-C-I-E-N. I don't even know what that is. Oh, isn't this cute? I think it's a little furry blanket. She loves little furry blankets. In fact, the, the thing I like to put in her crate for her um, all the time is uh, like a marshmallow bed, um, but it's only a tiny little square one. It's just a little bit smaller than this. And that's perfect, and she loves it. She gets in there, and she kneads on it. This is a perfect thing for her. <laughs> Are you having fun? Mom also wants to play with it. You want to play with everything, though, don't you? And it's really pretty, and I'm sure this can be washed several times, as it will be. That's what keeps happening with the little bed that I put in her thing, the marshmallow bed. I put it in, and an hour later, I take it out and put it in the wash. Over and over and over. Um, with all of them, though, that the bunny rabbit bed, the uh, koala bear bed and the marshmallow bed, they've all been washed a thousand times in the last week. And uh, that, I guess, will continue. That we'll probably wear them out on crank. And that's fine. I don't mind doing it. Um, but it is. It's a lot of, you know, you put it in, you take it out, you wash it. Uh, I think these are going to be perfect for her. You sent two of them. It's exactly the right size to put into her little crate. If she loves this, she'll probably knead on it. Um, I could even fold it in half. She kind of likes to try to burrow in there sometimes. Um, so we'll see. That's perfect. It's perfect for her. Thank you so much. Um, all right. We'll figure out how to organize all this afterwards. I'm going to put this right here. Frozen time to Thank you again. Okay. You are so helpful. You're so helpful. You know that. Mm, such a helpful kitty. Okay. All right, this looks like another Amazon drop shipment, so we'll do that. What is this? It's like a, like a carrot garden. This is such a cool toy. And it's, somehow it's got a pineapple in it, too. That's a weird combination. Uh, CC family. All right, CC. Okay, you're gonna open it right now. Hang on, let's find a note. What does it say? It says, "I promise I did not design this toy, but I'm sure you can see why I had to send it to you to play as you see fit." With love from, of course, Carrot Palooza. Ah, oh, Carrot Palooza, thank you so much. Um, I can see somebody's already trying to open it, and I'd love to see if she'll play with it. But how crazy is it? Not only did you send it and it's got carrots in it, but it came straight from Amazon, so you didn't get a chance to modify it or add this in. Yet for some crazy reason, with the carrots is a pineapple. How does that even happen? It's so perfect. That's, that's insane. It's completely insane. So this is pretty cool. It's a square block, as you can see. Um, and it's nice foam padding in there. Oh, and it's even got a zipper so that when it, as soon as it gets dirty, which is likely, you can pull the pad out and wash it. That's perfection. And then I assume, yes, each of these are little carrots that can, oh, not only can they be pulled out, they have little squeakers in them. 
But I see this is like a pocket. I'm imagining to put a treat into each one, and then you pull out the carrot and they find the treat. Or you can use it for catnip. I think that would work too. But I think it would be fun to put a little treat into each one and see them pull those out and get the treats. What a fun game that would be. Oh, that's so perfect. It's perfect for a little gadget of, uh, at all, I think. But anybody might enjoy it. It's so cute. I, uh, that's just fantastic. Huh. Uh, oh, there's something else. What is it? It's Oh, it's little packets of catnip, so that must be what it is, uh, what they intend you to put in there. And also a silver vine stick for some reason. Maybe just as a toy, but maybe you can use it to sort of poke the catnip into that hole, uh, like a plunger. And it comes in a jar, <laughs> a flat jar. That's cute, too. Uh, what does it say? CC Paw is what it says, so that must be who makes it. C-E-C-E, uh, CC -E -C -C Paw. And it's got pictures of all their animals with it, including their dog who's wearing a, like a carrot hat. That's ridiculous. One of their two dogs. Three dogs. Okay. Three dogs, three cats. That makes sense. That's cute. Very cute. Hmm. That's a great toy. How crazy is this right here, though? Here. Boop. Okay. Uh, that's really fun. I, I, I'm excited to see anybody play with this. I do. Want, I think I want to try putting treats in it rather than the catnip, though, and see her going nuts for it. Because I mean, she would. She'd go insane if I just put treats in it. In fact, we've only got two more boxes. Let me check on how I'm being heard, and maybe I can grab some treats that are right here in this box and put them in there real quick. It doesn't seem like it would take long. Hang on. Oh, she knows that sound, but is she going to be able to figure out what I'm doing with them? Hang on, kiddo. No, no, no. no that's not the game. Oh, oh, very excited. Too excited. Hang on. Here's the game. Okay, it's over here. You ready? Are you ready? I was going to check on how I was doing before I started doing this. Look, it goes right there. Oh, it's in there. Can you tell which one has the treat? Can you pull them out? Can you figure this out? Huh? Can you? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, 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 she's like, nah, I figured this game out. I just grabbed it from you, right? <laughs> Winner! Where are the treats going? Where are they? How do you get them? Oh, she knows something's up. She knows something is up. What is it? What is up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me try that. Can you pull them out? Can you get the treats out? What happens? You're a smarty cat. You can figure this one out. I know you can. Right there. Oh, oh, that's my finger, though. Okay, right there. Come on. Okay, now we put one treat into each carrot. I'm going to stay talking about the look right here. Pay attention. There's one right there. Oh, here's one right here. Are you ready? Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is it right there? Can you find it now? Look, what's this right here? What's this right here? Okay. All right. We'll see if she can figure it out from there. That's enough of a hint. All right. Let me check this for one second now. Wrong word, but that's okay. All right, good. Looks like everything's still going okay. So one last package. I know it looks like two, but it's box one of two and two of two. Let's see here. I think this may also be from Carrot Palooza. Let's find out. Paper. Nice. Score. Oh, and we got a pet magnet. I thought it was a sticker. It's a magnet. How about that? That was tucked in there. Okay, hang on now. The Robbinsville Advance. Hmm. Oh, it's a little kitten that looks like Crank in a bucket in a watering pitcher, I guess. 
It says, Happy Meowween and Katniss Decorating Party. Good morning, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh, you want me to help hold this down? I think you found one. Oh, can you figure out the rest now? How does it work from there? Um, okay, good morning and everyone at the Academy. We also want to send a special hi to Crank and send her a few items. First, there's a small bed for her to relax in. It is 100% acrylic and is washable and dryable for any messes. Oh, thank goodness. Then just a few toys for her. Is that this? Is this a handmade bed for her? I think it must be. Let's take a look at it. Wow, 100% acrylic, so it's good. definitely washable. You should let me know about that other, the teal thing for her, how washable that is, because I'm not going to let her use it unless you get, assure me that it's washable. Um, that's from uh, Ginger uh, Tuffy Cat, I think, if I'm remembering right. So, okay, a small bed for her to relax in. It's 100% acrylic and is washable and dryable. Okay, we have been setting aside all summer things we've wanted to send to the Academy, and Mom kept saying, in due time. So there are two boxes because of in due time. We were finally able to convince her to send them. There are a few items for you and DJ. The rest are as you see fit. A huge thank you for all that you do from all the mom, cats, and kittens, including us. This is from Millet and Sydney. Hey, Millet and Sydney, that's great to hear from old Millie. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the bed for a little crank, and that's super cute. And then this is a, hi, a box of toys for your kid. No, not for you. It's for crank. Look, why don't you try pulling out some more carrots, okay? You, you look at, there's so many treats over here. Look at this. Smell that? Do you smell that? Oh, what is that? Does it smell like a treat in that carrot? Oh, how are you going to get it? Okay. So look at these strawberries. We've got, uh, oh, I thought that was a, oh, it is a strawberry. Okay, so we've got a tiny little strawberry mouse. We got a giant, look at this, he's so cute. It's a little, it's kind of like a bean and bag part in it so that it's heavy. It has a little strawberry with a smiley face. That's super cute. Oh, there's a whole bunch more strawberry mice. There is a strawberry yow catnip. Uh, also a crinkle bug and a fun tube and some other, uh, some little Adam toys. And a lemon mouse too to go with the strawberries. Wow, those are good toys for her. That little, the, the bean bag strawberry is so cute and so soft. I think that'll be something adorable for her to sit with. Are you trying to get that treat out? Are you having some trouble getting the treat out even though you got the carrot already? Oh, that's one to solve, huh? Okay, I don't know why I'm trying to stuff this bag back in here. I don't need to do that, but here I am. Okay, so this is for Crank, and I just want to, I know I'm going to remember that and probably not even put this away with everything else, but I want to label it anyway. That'll do. Okay. Millet and Sydney have also sent, okay, this is, looks like the rest of the mice from the sets that those strawberries were stolen from. Uh, we've got those, the same toys, I don't know what to call them, um, mesh feather ball. Okay, well, it's got a name, that's what it is. Oh, it's got a rattle in it too. Some more of the little atomic balls. Pom pom, it says, all right, well, that's fine. There's so many toys in here. My goodness, you must have been saving a long time. Now, this is clearly for little Loganberry, because we've got one of his little mice that he likes to play fetch with, and then a whole bunch of these rubber balls with the little worms in them. These are some heavy uh, rubber balls. I bet those are going to bounce really well for him. I would throw one now, but I'm afraid it's going to ricochet and hit her in the head while she's playing with that carrot. Uh, so those are perfect for Loganberry. He loves those little things, and uh, it's so fun when they have the rubber ball neck, and you can just whip them, and they bounce all around. Uh, these are some very shiny fish with feather tails. Star Wars balls. Oh, wow, we got droids. It's uh, like a very abstract version of C-3PO, R2-D2, and BB-8. All right. Those are cool. This is the Maggie-style toy. This is a little orange one I haven't seen before, a little orange fish. That's new to me. I bet Maggie will like it. I see there's even some others here. Oh, look at that. There's a mouse with some feathers. Wow, there's so much in here. We got kitty cat sticky notes. This is packed full. We got a uh, little blue and green birds with feathers. Is she going to pull out another carrot? Is she getting this game? Yeah, she's getting it. Wait, did you do that carrot already? No, you didn't. Okay. Oh, 
how do you get the tree out there? She is starting to get really good. Okay, she's only got to solve it like twice, and she's so smart. And then she'll be like, okay, I totally got this. Now I can just pull them all out. Uh, some Walker's shortbread, yum. Oh, that's good stuff too. Thistle rounds and European classic shortbread. Okay, perfection. Oh my goodness, there's so many fun toys in here. It's not just kitty toys. Uh, NASA catnip toy set. It's got the NASA logo, a NASA rocket, and an astronaut. All right. Uh, I'm running out of places to set these things down. This is some sort of toy set with little... Oh, I think it's got a pond in it. I think this looks like an inflatable pool to put the little mechanical fish in. You know how we sometimes play with the mechanical fish and I always get out that big glass dish and put them in it? Uh, this has also got little floaty toys in it, like a little floaty fishes and a little floaty turtle and a little floaty crab. But this right here has got to be an inflatable um, water, like little pool, little tiny water pool to put the fish into. Now that's a clever set. Oh, wow. And it's made for toys, cat pool toy. Wow. Hey, that's a new one on me. What a great idea for somebody to have made. Really brilliant. Pull out some more carrots, you know. Don't bother me. Go bother some carrots. Okay, uh, we've got hot sauce catnip toys, mild hot fuego and verde. All right. We've got more of the little Logan style mice, skitter critters. Oh, hey, I recognize this. We had this out for a little while in the other room. Uh, maybe even for these kids, was it? Or was it for. I don't remember what a family recently. It's a little um, uh, bowl for a fish, a fish bowl. Yeah, that's what you call it, a fish bowl with a, with a little octopus and a seahorse and somewhere back in there, a little fish. Very cute cat toy. All right. Uh, is this a second cat sticky nose? Yes, it is. Okay, I was wondering if I just put it back in there, but I did not. Now, here's something that is especially carefully wrapped. Oh, it's a little Christmas tree ornament. Meowie Katniss. Perfection. I'll put that right over here. And this one says chillin'. Oh. <laughs> this is a cat. He's got sprinkles all over his nose, and it says, what cupcakes? That's a little perfect. All right. Put that right over there as well. Wow, you sent a lot. We're not even close to through this. Uh, we've got two of the fancy Mylar balls that also have mesh in them. What about these carrots? Don't you remember the carrots? They've got treats in them. I know how you feel about treats. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, this is like a, a Spider-Man, Iron Man cat uh, thing. I don't know if he's supposed to be uh, Iron Man or... Let's just take a look and see what the label says. Oh, Black Panther. Why am I so dumb? Of course it is. You know, they all wear the same kind of suit style, but Black Panther makes way too much sense. Okay, now I see, oh, I see the necklace now. I didn't see the necklace. That would have given it away. Yeah, okay. It's Black Panther, and he's a Beanie Baby. That's perfect for us. That's great. Man, I watched that movie so many times, too. That was a good one. Uh, let's see here. We got a tiny little clip-on kitty, a Beanie Baby, with a tail. That's cute. I know you want to play with everything. We've got Karma Cat uh, felted. It's two little felted bugs. One is a bumblebee and one is a ladybug. Handmade in Nepal, of course. That's where they make all the felt for some reason. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. A teacup cat toy with catnip. Oh, that's so cute. It is. It's a cup and it's got a separate little tea bag. And uh, for some reason, the cup appears to be cow print. Which is fine. That's fine. Why not? Anything goes. Oh, and the tea bag says tea on it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, and there's another? No, what is that? It's very similar, but it's not. Is it? It is. Oh, this is a, more of a coffee set, isn't it? Oh, it does say coffee set, and it's got a coffee, like pour-over coffee maker. It's got a spoon. It's got a cat face on it, and it's got a little coffee cup full of coffee. So we got coffee and tea. Ideal. This is such a cute little kitty's face. Why is his face so cute? 
It's a little crocheted kitty. He's just a fat little kitty. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. Uh, we've got a Groot. Oh, that's perfect. We got Groot to go with the Black Panther. They are a matching set. Wow, this is weird though. Why is Groot's face a pocket? It's a little disturbing. Why is it a pocket? Is there an explanation for that or is it just how they decided they had to make it? Doesn't seem to be any sort of explanation. His, uh, his face is like a, see, you can, pick, you can just peel his face off. Oh that's, oh, that's very disturbing. Okay, he's very cute though, cute Groot. Okay, we're not gonna play with his face anymore. Uh, we've got an alien set. Oh wow, it's got an alien, a couple different planets, a spaceship, and a star. Those are cool. We've got a cat mail file. It's like a little tuxy kitty. Adorable. Wow, this is so much stuff. You really packed it in here. Uh, the fuzzy tail catnip toys. Those are the ones same as this right here, the ones that she likes the best as a kicker. Another Christmas tree ornament. This one says, love comes with fur, and it's very shiny. Okay, put that over there. Uh, meow power, and this is, these are magnets, meow power. And cats are like potato chips. You can't have just one. So true. All right, we'll put those probably on the fridge. We have the best cat memes ever by Charlie Ellis. One of the best ones ever? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I guess so. They seem to all be in the format of when or uh, my face when. No, maybe not all of them. Okay. <laughs> Aw, pretend to be surprised when someone tells you a secret, even though you already worked it out weeks ago. All right. These are very cute little pictures, if nothing else. All right. I'm going to set that over here. What are you digging for in here? The cat theme gift. What is the cat theme gift? I guess we gotta look. Oh, it's a tin. Oh, wow. That's a very fancy tin. Oh, okay. Open it this way. Oh, it's a little sticky notes. Cat shaped sticky notes. But wow, it's nicely packaged. Okay, I'm gonna put that right back in there. Little cat shaped sticky notes. Perfect. We got some stickers. Oh man, so many stickers for me to use. Oh wow, I'm really gonna decorate that box. I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it this time. I love these little three-dimensional unicorns. We've also got the same style of pineapple. Okay, uh, where was I collecting those stickers? Oh no, I need to put them all in one pile now. I'm covering it. Okay, we'll sort that out after my life. This is lovely. Um, I don't know what to call this art, but he's a heterochromatic little kitty like Fez. We've got a doctor set, Hero in Scrubs. The doctor is in. It's got thermometers. Oh, wow. All the doctor set. Okay. okay. Uh, a bunch of really cute cat drawings. All right. This is um, the ultimate wearable tribute. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if this is in there somewhere or made of whiskers. What? All right, well, this is just a card, though. We'll have to see. Um, I'm, if I don't see, I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. A whole bunch of emoji pineapples. Oh, and you're a pineapple. All right, wear a crown. May your days be fruitful. All right, pineapples. Put that over there with the stickers. Okay. That's a nice box, too. What is this, though? What is this? All right. Oh, we got some bag clips that look like cats. Those are cute. Okay, little bag clips. We got black ones, we got white ones, but there's more in this box. Wow, you just put so much in here. This is a lot of stuff. All right, set the bag clips aside. We've got cute little pins. This is a tiny little cat standing next to a... Okay. This pin is a little cat with his tail up. Oh, puffed out, looking all intimidating. And the last one is a cat, a mouse, a heart, a paw, and a food dish. Very cool. Plus, also, what is this? A, oh, retractable tape measure, a cloth tape measure in the shape of a cat. Oh, well, that's perfect for measuring the cats for cat suits. 
Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the box though. Never can have too many bag clips. Those things are so useful. All right, put that right aside. We've got another paper. All right, I'll put that here. The People Papers. Oh, this one looks like it's all ads. That's fun. All right, put that right over there. I, I'm sorry I woke you up, Frank. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up with that. We've got a coffee mug. This is box one of two, everybody. Talk about, but wait, there's more. Uh, the coffee mug had another of the Mylar balls in it that says, Cozy Cats, they're two cats wearing scarves. That is cozy, it's very cute. Put that way out in front so you can see it. Okay. We've got a cat night light, squishy, color changing cat. Squishy, how squishy can it be? All right, I just gotta know how squishy it is. Color changing cat light. Oh, oops, I kinda got all the tape. Did I? I did. Oh, that's very squishy. I did not expect it to be that squishy. Hmm. Yeah, it reinflates pretty well. It's turned on already, so I can tell there's no batteries in it. We'll have to get some batteries there. That is also cute. Okay, I'm not going to put the packaging back, just the cat. He doesn't feel like he can be damaged. He's like a, like a big old puffball. Still working on box one of two, pet supplies. All right, that's super descriptive. Oh, it's Mylar balls and pom-pom uh, balls and little rattle mice. Yes, it does rattle. Perfect, Mylar balls, pom-pom balls, little rattle mice, all the goodies. I know, you don't have enough toys. You better check them all out, huh, Gadge? Huh. I'm surprised you're not working on those carrots where you're just like, this is too much effort for my food. When have you ever said that? Come here. What's this right here? Can you smell that? What is that? Oh, now you just want pets, huh? Okay. Uh, what is this? Hmm, what is this? It's round. Ooh, it's 3D printed. Oh, it's a gear ball. Oh, these are so cool. Wow, this is nicely done, too. Huh. So it is a bunch of gears put together into a shape, and you can twist them. They actually all intermesh. It's 3D printed, and if you turn it the right way, there we go, it makes a ball. Uh, that's so cool. These things are so fun. When I was doing 3D printing really heavily, I made a few sort of gear balls off of the plans that were online, but mine never came out quite this nice. Plus this iridescent filament is really cool. I never had anything like that either. Every now and then I think about my 3D printer that's just sitting in a box in the basement waiting to be used. Look at that, that makes a cool shape. Huh, you can really do some neat stuff with that. Uh, anyway, I think about trying to like set that up and get everything running, but I know how I am. By the time I got it all working, I'd be like, all right, now I'm into something else for a while. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get back to it in due time. That is so cool. All right, that's going to be fun. Put that on my desk or something. We've got a scratcher that is a... What is that? Is that a camper? No, it's a cat house and... Oh, it's a treadmill. Oh, and of course, I, now I can see it's a treadmill. Okay, I had to, I had to get the hint, but... It is. It's a treadmill with a gym bag and some supplements and stuff on a shelf behind it. That's the confusing part. Um, but it's a little kitty treadmill so that maybe Custard can go and stand on his treadmill while I'm standing on mine. Custard gets very upset when I'm on the treadmill. Like, he wants to run away. He just goes and hides behind the curtain while I'm jogging. Sometimes I put him out of the room so he doesn't have to worry about it, you know? All right, we've got a bag at the bottom with the handles already cut off. How thoughtful. Probably for teaspoon. Now this is a very familiar set of, of uh, tissue papers. We can fill out that same tissue print a little bit more. That's clever. That's a weird coincidence, isn't it? Another weird coincidence. Okay, that's the end of box number one. And I'm just going to take all the stuff that's in my lap and put it right back in here. All the stuff that's toys in the way. All right, separate out the stuff that's for people from the stuff that's for kittens. Wow. Oh, P.S. Box 2 has food that mom ordered an error for me. It is for kittens. Millet. Oh, 
Perfect. Milk doesn't think he's a kitten anymore, huh? All right, buddy. Always be a kitten to me. Ah, uh, what are you doing, Gadge? Huh? All right, let's separate this up. That's technically a cat toy, even though I really want to play with it. Cat toys, not cat toys. Cat toy. Uh, we're going to call these guys cat toys, I think. Black Panther and Groot? I don't know. They're so cool. All right, put them in there. You can always defer the decision until sorting day. Cranko, this is also yours, but we'll put that there. And then let's move on to cat. Box number two, maybe if we're lucky. This guy said so much. Box number two, maybe just food. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, Millet Sydney, thank you guys. Oh, this is not, this is not food. May not be food at all. Uh, let's see, we've got another bag there for teaspoon. Look at that. Wow, these are also very nicely knit. I assume they're also acrylic and washable, like the one that was sent for crank. They're big. One, two, uh, three. Look at these colors. Wow. Uh, that's bright, too. Look at that. Wow. It's like a red and sort of a, a teal color. And then we've got some that aren't little round beds, but are blankets. This is a very pastel, Eastery kind of style. Hi, okay, you want to just dig in there, huh? Okay, why not? <laughs> uh, this is huge, and it's got sort of some peach and green and white and brown in there. All right, wow, there is so much more in here still, not just food. We've got a cat hat that is a, like a monster. Uh, a little purple spotted monster with horns, uh, definitely legally distinct from any monsters that may work at Monsters, Inc. Uh, oh, and a jester's uh, little collar to wear also with jingly bells. Oh, that's going to make somebody crazy if we do photo shoot. Uh, nice Halloween bag. There's something in there. What is going on inside? <gasps> Ooh, I see a dish. Look at that! It's such a cute little mermaid dish. Perfect. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Oh, it's beyond perfect. All right. Happy Halloween to us. That eyes on this are so cool. I don't know if you can tell. They're like an iridescent purple. That's really, really cool. And I you know the perfect thing to put into the bag for now. The costumes. There we go. Put those right in there. Just like that. Okay. Uh, oh, and a Halloween cat toy set that's all oranges. She is snuggled up inside this pile of blankets in my lap. You are so silly. I don't know if you can quite see her head right here sticking out. <laughs> she just burrowed right in there. These are nice. This is, how do I take my coffee? Seriously, very seriously. <laughs> oh, I never heard of that. That's a great line. Okay, put that over here with the people stuff. These look like some stainless steel bowls, the best. Oh, that's the best. Wow, a stack of them. Each one with a little rubber mat. Oh, that's perfect. And look how flat they are. That's great for kitties. They're very flat, stainless steel bowls. Like I said, they each have rubber mats so they don't get pushed around. That is so perfect. Oh, I love it. I love stainless steel bowls for the little kitties. You can see one right there. That's what I usually feed them in. I bought a big stack of ones that are like that, but mine didn't come with any rubber pads, so they get pushed around a lot. Uh, this says it is a rocking roller. All right, we're gonna have to fish out the instructions to see what it might be when it's all put together. There's some weird parts in there. Some very weird parts in there. There's like some flexible plastic and that's some tubes that would fit these balls in them. And a lot of little uh, joints, little L joints and T joints, and some fabric. What does it all make? Let's see here. What does it mean? A rocking roller. Oh, I see. It is like a big basket that also has some parts that the balls go into. And uh, it looks like they would... Well, they'd play with it and it would move all around the place. That seems ideal. It's even got a little ball that hangs down from the top. Huh. I don't know how well you can make that out, but I think you get the rough idea there. 
that looks like a project to assemble. I can't, I can't even really picture how you get from uh, what we've got here to that, but I can see it would work. I think that's going to be a fun one. All right, we'll put that in there. And then finally, the kitten food that was ordered for Millet is Fancy Feast Gourmet Naturals Kitten. Oh, that little kitten. You look so sad. What are you so sad about, buddy? Um, okay. Sad little kitten on the Fancy Feast box. Perfection. All right. Wow, uh, Millet, Sydney, you guys really went out of your way to collect stuff for us. That is fantastic. I'm going to put the beds right back in there, and then uh, at this point, I've got to get all this stuff organized and put away. But that was mailbag. I hope it was good for you guys. I had a lot of fun. i got to find a box that I can use to put all of the stuff in to carry it out. Can I take this box? Can I just use this box? And here's what we'll do. Oh, so there's another box over there, actually. I, why are you pulling that out? This is not for you. This is for Cranko. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll put this in here and label it for Crank so I don't forget. And there's a box back there that we can use to carry stuff out. So. I, uh, until I hear for sure that this thing is going to be super washable, I am not going to super wash it. Uh, so we will put it for her eventual endowments, or once we get her poop under control, whichever happens first. Okay, put that there. No, not there, because I'm going to want to put other things in there like this to start with. Okay, more cat toy. And then I need a box for me. Oh, hang on. All right, there we go. I gotta get up and stretch too, but first let's see how much this is get put away. Hi, you're sitting on the box. That's the wrong box to sit on because that's the box I want to open. There we go. Okay. These in here. This back here. We're sorting. Alright, these are going to my office. Uh, these bowls are so nice. I'm still gonna put them over there. All right, people stuff, people stuff, people stuff. Great, a card, those go downstairs. Best cat memes, all right, put it in there. Put your carrots back. Keep this in the people stuff box. And catnip toys, cat toys, cat toys, put there. All my stickers, okay, let's separate out my stickers from the letters. Stickers, stickers, letters, letters. Okay, stickers, letters, letters go downstairs, stickers go to my office. You can't go in there, you can get them out of the garden. You gotta pick your own from the garden now. Okay, people stuff, people stuff, people stuff, people stuff. This is people stuff because it's going to DJ. This is going in the other room. These are more stickers. These are people stuff. This is true. This is people stuff. This is churu. Uh, oh, this is that 3D printed ball. You know what? I'm just going to take it out of the box right now. Fits perfectly in that coffee mug. Okay. These are people stuff. Oh, man. I'm so excited for these. I forgot they were there. That's going to be great. This is for crank right away, so I'll put it in the people stuff. This is people stuff. This is also for crank right away. We got the socks. Wow, what a mailbag, you guys. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, these aren't anything, I don't think. Cards go downstairs. What's in here? Oh, it's just a letter. Okay, good. This can go downstairs. This can go downstairs for now for sorting. I think this is people stuff. The squishy cattling? I feel like that's people stuff. Uh, this is not people stuff. That's cat toys. Get under that. Okay, there we go. Hi, all right, I think we sorted it. Wow, that was quick. Sort of. Put that in there. Good, now I just have to take all this stuff out of here without letting anybody in or out. That's going to be a trick, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you making a poop. I can see you doing it, and I can smell you doing it at the same time. 
That's fine. That's what the box is for. You make all the poops you want right in there. It's the perfect bed for you. The perfect bed, really. Don't have to wash it or anything. Just fill it up with poops and throw it out. All right, well, now i got to get rid of this stuff, so let's start with doing that. Kiddo, Gadgy, you're a sweetheart. You're a big old sweetie poo. Oh, you've got a big purr going, too. That's a nice purr. So squeezable. Such a big old squishy cat. Do you light up? Maybe you need some batteries? Okay. Up and at them. Okay. Woo. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah. Uh, old bones. All right, let's take these stickers before they blow all over the place. Um, do, 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 do. How to do this. All right. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these, and uh, I wanted to keep the stickers separate so I could take them right to where they're going. I have so many hands, so let's put them together. Okay, there we go. No, no, back, back, back. You stay in there. All right. Check where the mic is at. Make sure we shut that off. Put it away in case it's still running. Looks like it's not. No, oh, looks like it is. Wait, I was behind. It's not. Okay. Cool. All right, I know, I know, I hear you. Meow, 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 meow. So much meow. All the meow, very meow. Okay, let's take all this down. Oh, lost some crinkle fish there. Oof.
All right, you'll be happy to know I took a detour and put the mic and the receiver in the charger. We'll do better next time. Sorry for the sound. It's all my fault. Yeah, meow, you too. lunch kill why don't we find that for you leave that right there put this away crackstein i guess you can stay here for the moment okay well thanks again everybody that was a great mailbag so much more fun stuff crank's got her favorite toy right there <laughs> Um, all right, yeah. Thanks again. Uh, that was really fun. DJ's already trying out that spray. Back up, Hazels.